What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandon, Six Four Explorer, exploring with Herbeck Sticklin. I got a cool little spot for you guys here. I'm out at a diner. Normally you come here nice and early in the morning, but because of the situation, I'm here <laughs> dark and late in the evening. But it's all wrapped up, right? All the windows and everything are boarded, so you can't see in anyway. Like, you, there'd be no light, so it's a flashlight explore. But this place is a complete time capsule. It's been here since 2005, 2007. But it's just, it's absolutely amazing. You guys are going to be blown away. I hope you guys are ready. Let's get exploring. All right, explorers, so things were a little funny the other day. So it's no longer a night explorer, it's now a day explorer. But this place here, it had a gas station attached and that's what this is. This is the little gas station attendance area. As you can see over here, we got 2007. You like to smoke. <laughs> we got all the keys and we still got all the checks and paperwork and everything all left behind. That's pretty cool. All of his files, receipt paper. We've got a bunch of checkbooks and all types of neat stuff. Paperwork. But what's really cool is that his his jacket's still here even. And then a whole bunch of just random supplies. A bunch of books. Do a little pan there for you so you guys can see everything. People are trying to open up some boxes, but it's all just gonna be files you'd imagine. Yeah. Just a whole lot of paperwork in and all these drawers. Yep, that seems to be it. What's going on down in here? Real old newspaper. He's got some girly pictures. <laughs> I wonder if this was an old Petro. But isn't that cool? And here we'll show you this too. Very cool. Very cool. And another jacket. Just hanging out on top of a real old real old check scanner those are always awesome <laughs> well, we got a box of old tools down there that I didn't notice and some toilet paper I guess in the right circumstance toilet paper is definitely a tool we're gonna get inside the actual place now So I was a little worried if it was going to be open or not. But it still is. Beautiful, beautiful. Canadian made. Those are all fire extinguishers. That's pretty cool. Three nice fire extinguishers. <laughs> pink. It's even pink for the men. Hey, hello. Is there anybody using the bathroom? going on explorers I'm all done up because this is in a busy area so I just wanted to look the part as I was coming into the place look there's animal crap 
but get ready all right in here this is the gem here's your diner check it out real old real old electrical equipment an old security camera old radio this place is an absolute time capsule if you look nothing's been touched nothing at all you'll see all the plates are still here everything these are here they're a little out of place but they're from the gas station And I've had this place marked, but I've had a buddy, he kept checking it out, and he was the one that let me know it was open. So I want to thank Greg at uh, Uncapped Films. If you haven't checked him out, check out his channel. You've got an old plate just sitting on the table still. With your salt and your peppers. And what's awesome is each table has salt and pepper still. <laughs> so yes, check out Greg at Uncapped Films. And also, thank you Noah, just also, as well, for letting me know to come. So I'm here. I love Tasmanian Devil. I don't know what's going on with this one ceiling tile, why it's the only one that's crumbled away. Perhaps that's the one the animals ate through when they came in, or possibly just there was a little bit of damage or a breeze, something there. All day breakfast. Isn't that cool? The flowers are all still there. I love you on the flower. Coat racks. <laughs> Look at these awesome old booths. Is that not retro? The old pastel type color. Nowadays it's all bright and fancy. <laughs> Storage only. If you can see that. And this is pretty cool. Let's turn it around the right way. We've got the Maple Leafs, the 1993 Norris Playoff Champions. There was that cool picture of the Blue Jays in the the honeymoon hotel. And now there's an awesome picture of the Leafs in this abandoned diner. Look at that, they even got the candy still left in here. See how they like molding? I've never seen jelly beans start to mold and get fuzzy like that. That's crazy. All the gum, probably all stuck together. Very cool, whoa. This would be your main entrance. Looks like someone was trying to take the fridge out. So I've had a fridge on the doors, now I've got, or a fridge on the stairs. Now I got a fridge in the doorway. And I just noticed up here, check that out. 92 world champions, they got the Jays too. We must be close to Toronto, eh? <laughs> well, we're definitely in Ontario and we're Toronto. The Toronto team province. Nice little corner booths. More jackets. Well, spots to put your jackets. You got this muscle man here lifting some burgers. Like an old 70s car with a uh, surfboard coming out. I wonder if this was actually supposed to be here. Looks like it fits, but one person would have to be hiding. Check this out. Well, one quick second. Let's look at the booths here. Booth 10 and 9. So I guess there's 10 booths. Oh, but there's the three over there. Hmm. Like the ceiling's not even that bad. That tile's fallen off though from the weather, I guess. Too much hot and cold. 
somebody took out the cash register. I imagine that would be the first thing to happen when somebody found their way in here. You know, ketchup and mustard, relish. They had ice cream. <laughs> the old clock, that's awesome. Yellow. Look at all the good food. That's awesome. And here is where you'd place your order. Here's the rest of the cash register. Here's what I meant about the tile, see? Just looks like it's kind of slid off on its own. That wasn't from somebody. Maybe so. No, I don't think anybody would have done that with kicks. It's too nice. They're not even broken, except for the ones that I stepped on. More food. That looks like funnel cake up there, but I don't think it is. Because you don't get red sauce. Oh, chicken nuggets? Chicken fingers, sorry. Shrimp and chips. Oh, we're passing a cobweb. See that? Beautiful. Banquet burger for me, please. Corned beef on rye. I'll take one of those too. Oof. Here's an outside look at the kitchen, but we're gonna go back there. We're gonna go behind the whole serving area. Like everything's still here. This place just closed. All they took was the money. And it looks like it's the product. Mm. Pour mice down in a fridge. They got stuck and couldn't climb out. Is that an old school milkshake, Mick? Oh well. That mixes your milkshake. What comes out in here? If you guys know what this machine is here, please put it in the comments. Definitely to put a cup and something comes out. Maybe it pours your ice cream, then you put it in here to mix your ice cream. Your old mixer cups. There's mouse crap everywhere. All the extra cups. Tons of teacups, because it's a diner, or coffee cups, sorry. <laughs> your little tea kettles, little coffee kettles to go on your table. You got your sugar, coffee, keys. We got a nice menu here. I'm gonna go on this side. I'm not gonna touch it this time. It's sitting here with too much crap. Very cool. How old that phone is. Looks like the phone's even starting to mold. Let's come over here. Do a little pan down here. <laughs> Vinegars and all these packets, bunch of pens. <clears throat> You got a money checker, I'm guessing that's what that is. Yeah, see, you still got all your plates where they're supposed to be. Nobody's coming here and just throwing them around and smashed them up. That's awesome. It's nice to get here right when the place opens up for the first time. Because we're not going to smash it up. You guys know us. <clears throat> we're always here and we're respectful. So we need to get here first, that way all the people that aren't coming here to be good, they can get here last, if they get here at all. Look at this. Oh. I wonder if it just looks really bad because it's been sitting here for so long. Maybe it's not actually. Boy, that's got some grease coming out. Ooh. This place was definitely well used. This place was probably real busy. Nasty. Hmm. A whole bunch of crazy stuff. The deep fryers. There's no grease in them. That's a bonus. Normally they're always full. I don't imagine it just evaporated. <laughs> if you look. Oh. See down in there, see that bright yellow? 
uh, bright yellow. The spoon's full of grease, <laughs> so it definitely doesn't evaporate. Real old fridges. General. Quite big. Close it right up there. Good. Make sure the employees are all washing their hands when need be. <laughs> A bunch of weird storage. Pots and pans. So we got your lawnmower to take care of the property. So no, that's not weird. It should all be here. Seat covers and weird stuff. This whole shelf's coming down. <laughs> we got sunshine girls, sunshine ladies. I remember when that was the big thing. Sunshine girls everywhere. Can't go wrong. Look how bad that is. Oof. We got some gas and. The ceiling's starting to come down again a bit right there. A real old phone. Well, maybe not real old. It was probably white at one point. But now it's yellow. Because I've seen those exact ones. And they're always white. This one's just been sitting here way too long. There's one of those exoskeletons from a spider. They're the worst. I hate them. Sometimes they get huge. They're not alive, but you still, you don't want that thing on you. If you turn and it's on your shoulder, you're going to jump pretty good. All your pots and pans look giant whisks. I guess, yeah, in a diner, you're going to be making a lot of eggs. So you're going to have a big bowl, a big whisk. <laughs> we got the employee bathroom. Nice and clean, good to see. <laughs> we got a scale and a, I don't know, maybe a, a press. Cool. <laughs> Doesn't smell that bad back here. There must be some cleaning products around. But out here you can smell the wet. You can smell the old, it's delicious too. Did we look at all these plates down here too? I'm sure they got in the camera, but I didn't see them. I didn't point them out. And they cleaned everything before they left. All the food stuff's empty. The plates are empty. There's not horrible stuff left on the grill. Right? That's pretty cool. And they said they emptied the, they even emptied the oil in the deep fryer. Now, I didn't see a basement door. I can do another little double peek. We'll see what we can find. Do one more little walk around. Blue Jays. There's a dolly, so something was supposed to happen, right? I guess that dolly got the fridge that far. But why they stopped, I don't know. I love the old drawings. Bacon and eggs and toasts and sausage. Fans coming down a little bit, but not too bad. The Australia kangaroo. He's better than like the Detroit kangaroo. Just a little more friendly. Not as much hair. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. There's no kangaroos down there. And I love the States, I love you all. Especially since I'm a car guy in Detroit. You're a car city, and I love it. Oh, 
old stuff again. Old TV. Place your order here. Well, see, I always look where I'm filming. So I'm tripping on the uh, cash register. I hope you guys enjoyed this film. <laughs> this place, this video, this awesome retro diner, time capsule. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely awesome. All right, everybody. There's this little door here. I just wanted to show you. Not much going on. Just a bunch of tanks and garbage everywhere. The roof's falling right in. I just wanted to make sure to throw that into the video. And also check this out. So we've got <coughs> all of these like, concrete poles that they got. So there was something going on because right now I'm in an area that they didn't want you to drive in. Could be for whatever that is, but I just thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully the machines that are gonna come and plow this notice they're there, cause that would definitely ruin your day. I also just wanted to show you guys, I didn't film the other one, but you'll see in one of my little six second swing buys with the music, that there's another three of these bins or barrels. I'm not sure what's in them, but They've all been sitting here since 2007. Luckily, they're not leaking, so that's a bonus, but something's gonna have to happen with these. How are you guys? I hope you all enjoyed that one. As you can see behind me here, this place isn't gonna be around long, so it's good that we got here, especially since it's been a time capsule for so long. It's finally opened up, and then now it's gonna be gone. So that's perfect. There's gonna be no vandalism, no nonsense, nothing crazy like that, but the machines are here, so it's time. The boys are coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What a cool place. I love time capsules like that. It's rare to find them, and we found one, and that is so cool. I hope you guys absolutely loved it, because I did the whole time. I was, you should have seen the smile on my face. But thank you all for the support, for all the love, for all your subscriptions. Like it, subscribe it, share it, comments. Thank you for all your support again, and I'll catch you all on the next Explore. Ciao for now.